time to open up some uh, packages. Let's get this stuff uh, rolling. These. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I got the uh, big box from um, uh, uh, from Hulter, uh, uh, Hustle Culture and uh, as you can see not for Bean Boy got jelly beans all over it um, we're going to open this bad boy up real quick and see what we've got in here. I'm saving the box, I'm taking off my shipping label right now. And so we can save the box because this is like a, this is like a collector's box, I think. This is the first time they've ever done this. So. Okay. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, I'm going to move this off to the side so that I can, uh, so that you can actually see me open and pull everything out. Sorry if my lighting goes wonky in a second. promised the green tin just a big green tin of art supplies wishing you a happy holiday and as you can see it's the Green Big Art Tin from Stuart Simple. So, um, I can either open this now or I can open this for Christmas. Um, that is a hard decision. Um, it shows me right here what the contents are. So I could go ahead and take it out now or wait until Christmas and open it at Christmas. But that is a hard call. Huh. I'm gonna have to think about that. Hmm. Okay, we are not at the table for this just because I could not be bothered to um, get up and go over there, basically. Um, but we are, I, as I had showed you before um, Christmas, we 
I did uh, receive the Culture Hustle um, uh, box of art supplies. And uh, this is the tin that it comes in, the art tin. It's the green tin by Stuart Simple. Culture a culture hustle. I have take taken a look inside, but I'm gonna unbox it with you guys today. So let's completely open this baby up. Um, I want to kind of preserve this ribbon, so I'm just going to stretch it to one side. I think I can do that pretty well. Look at that. I can do it with one hand. Okay. And then, like I said, I've already opened this once, so. And like I said, I've already opened this, so everything's already been taken out of the plastic, but these all came in plastic wrapped, um, bubble wrapped containers and everything. And I've already taken them out. So I've got the Stuart Simple Neon Pink High Grade uh, Professional Quality Acrylic Paint right here. I think this is a whole the whole uh, kit, the blue paint, neon blue. Neon yellow. Neon green. And with this right here, it's the Heavy Metals collection, it's got Gold, silver, copper, and black gold, and I'm going to try that out. And then we've got super base. This is like a base coat. Super flat, super matte, acrylic base paint. So this is sort of like gesso, but it is even better. And then of course, oops, twisted a little bit, but I got black 3.0. This is the blackest, mattest, blackest paint in the world. And here is the tote bag we created just for this, the tins. Thanks for supporting the artists, the, the artiest artists, Stuart Simple and Culture Hustle. And then, of course, on the back it says, Not for Bean Boy. And we all know who Bean Boy is. So, put that to the side. This is something I'm very, very in, uh, excited about is the mirror, mirror paint. snow fluff. Have fun with it. You stick to a to you to apply to sticky surfaces. Ooh. Okay. And an ornament. This is a stick. Oh, there's stick. That's the glue. 
Here's the box for Mirror. I kept this in here because it's uh, got the instructions with everything. And then I got red as the um, pigment, powder pigment. socks card a sketchbook a pencil and finally a letter that I've already opened This is the Cultural Artistic Licensing Body, and it's at a artistic license for ten pounds or ten dollars off your um, some artistic uh, materials, artist art materials. That's all it was. way of giving it a $10 coupon. A very cute cake. Yeah. So, let's get to swatching. I'm going to swatch all of these real quick and see how they work. So we are back, ready to swatch, and I've got um, just a little bitty chip brush here to swatch these acrylic paints, and we're going to swatch in the sketchbook provided. So reminding ourselves these are not to share well, with Anish Kapoor. Uh, let's Start and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sharpen the pencil because I mean this is a pencil. See, it's a pencil. So I'm not gonna sharpen the pencil today. It's a shade on it. And we all know how how well uh, Stuart Simple can. Uh, throw some shade. So let's just start swatching our lovely paint colors. Um, I have gotten out some, uh, what's it called? Some a uh, mix in for this to, uh, make it a paint and then we'll, we will use the stick to put the snow onto the paper. So let's start with Super Base since it is our gesso like Sorry I stopped recording there for a second.
Okay. That is super base right there. I'm cleaning off my brush real quick. I think that's a chunk of some a dried something. And that's going to overlap my super base. Oops. So that is the silver. That is this guy right here. And this bottle, uh, it's not glass, but it's a very, very hard plastic. They're very, very hard plastic, but they're not glass. They look like glass, but you can feel they're not cold like glass. Okay, so let's go to black gold. paper there.
collection. That's an interesting color, black gold. It's like a dark bronzy color. I'm gonna give it one more coat to see if it gets any more shimmer. Interesting. All right, let's do gold. Ooh, that one came off easily. So I have some black gold on me. Just a second. Okay, I did a gold swatch, and it definitely needs two coats. Um, so I'm going to do a copper swatch, and then I'll come back and do a second coat of gold real quick and see what we get. So, let me open up copper. You know, a lot of coppers come out rose gold, and this copper is very, it's a very warm red instead of a pinky. So I think this is a, a win for copper. This one is just perfect. This one you can't see through. There's no, it's like the black gold. You, there's no, vis there's no see-throughness. Well, on camera, it looks like it, but in person, there's not. And it's just perfectly shiny and metallic. It looks great. And the little, the teeny little bit that was on the lid was just enough for the swatch. So this goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I'm impressed with the copper. Not so much with the other colors, but the copper I am. Let's do another coat with the gold real quick and see if that can come up to snuff. I'm going to save this section right here next to the silver for the mirror paint because I know that this is good.
Okay, so this is the the swatch with one coat. This is the swatch with two coats and the stripe across the top, if you can still see it, is when it was mixed with the black hole on my brush on accident. So... I don't know if you can tell a difference on camera. I can tell a difference in person. is definitely more gold down here. Anyway, okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the colors. Alrighty, let's do the colors now. So let's start with green, and we'll do blue, yellow, and pink. Where is pink? Pink. Alright, let's do green first. There's the green. Clean off my brush. And then I'll grab blue. Like I still had some green in my brush. I'm so sorry. Blue is definitely not as opaque as the green was. The green wasn't that opaque, but it seemed that way because it's more neon. So, let me see if I can get all of this paint off because we're going into a light color now with the yellow.
think this is admittedly where I should have started. Looks like no more color is coming off my brush. Hopefully that is completely true because here I go into the yellow. Highlighter yellow. It looks much more opaque on camera than it does in person. It looks much more yellow than it does in person. It, in person, it kind of has a, a green-ish undertone to the yellow. But um, on camera, it just looks straight highlighter yellow. Uh, But that is very yellow. Okay, the last final one is the pink. all I could get off for the swatch. Um, they've been sitting out for a little bit, so they're dried up. All right, let's get the, let's get the, um, blackest black and the mirror swatched real quick. black. I didn't know the black is black was going to require a couple coats. Let me shake this and see if it Yeah, it says it, it, it even says shake well before use. Oops.
shake well before use. So I should have shaken it. Oh, let's try. Okay, what I did was I just like kind of bubbled some up onto the surface of it instead of getting some out of the cap. And let's see if that pigment is even, is any darker. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a little better. You can still thin it out to what that was. But it's like it's sticking together more. And it's still drying just as fast. Oops, sorry. much better.
All right, there is the matte black. I'm happy with that. Now, let me clean my brush real good and then we'll come back and do the mirror right beside the silver. Silver disappointed, but that's okay. And then the mirror. All right, we are ready to start with mirror, the actual mirror paint. So I've got a clean brush here, I've got the mirror paint, and I already cracked the seal on it, so let's pop the top. And I've already been warned that this is a um, solvent base paint, so it smells. Lovely. So I'm going to set down the bottle over here and just use the tiny bit that we have in the lid. because we only need the tiniest amount. And of course, on paper, you need a lot more, but when covering um, a smooth surface, like metal or plastic, you just need the tiniest bit. Let me use both hands real quick. Okay, there's not enough in the lid. I'm gonna have to. Oop, that was dipping too much. I dipped too much. I dipped my whole brush. I don't know if you guys can see. There's just a river of mirror on my paper. Okay, when you paint with this, it is going, the solvent is going to soak through the paper if you're painting on paper. So be aware of that. And when you clean your brush, you are going to have to clean it with a solvent. So a, um, uh, with, um, mineral spirits, um, okay, I am testing out the red pigment now, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of, um, gum arabic from Jacquard and um, see if it will form a paint. 
paint medium type thing to see if I can get like a almost like a um, a uh, watercolor medium and I'm just gonna mix it up here on this little tiny palette type thing If you're wondering what this is, this is one of those things that comes in like a Kinder Egg thing that to separate the or Kinder Surprise to separate everything out. That's good. That's well combined. So that's what we've got right now. And I'm going to get my brush back out. Get just a little bit of water on the brush. And try to incorporate that. So I tried to do this already and got a very, very light wash. So I'm mixing up a little bit more pigment this time and seeing if it will do better. Um, and really don't know how this is going to work. I mean, obviously it's the, 
the rubber one is just not doesn't like the paper anyway period I know I knew that would be the case but let's see if this will make a suitable ink Nice. I mean, not crazy about it, but that's nice. I think what I would use this mostly for is as a mix in for my resin. So, yeah. Um, now, the last thing we've got to do is uh, to test the stick and snow. So let me open up stick real quick. I'm rinsing out the brush. Let me rinse the brush first. We're going to use stick and we're going to stick on the snow. So let's open up stick real quick. stick sticky powder coating potion one coat evenly with a, apply one coat evenly with a brush wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry and be completely transparent add pigment to the sticky the stickiest stick using a sponge brush okay um We will do that. Let's use stick on this section right here. Okay, it does not take very much to coat as an area. Um, I, I only had to dip my brush in one time to coat that, that area. So it does not take much at all. 
and we will wait 10 to 15 minutes for that to be completely dry and I'll come back to you to show you um, coating it with snow. Our lovely snow using a foam brush. And I'll, I'll probably actually use a um, an eyeshadow brush. That's usually what I use when I'm, I'm applying glitter like this. So we'll be back in a split second. Okay, we are back and we are going to now try stick, or we're going to try the snow on stick. It has been curing for the last few minutes. And let me go ahead and open snow real quick. I need two hands. And try snow on some stick. Stick has been curing for the last few minutes and we're going to try and apply some of this snow glitter onto the stick using a um, sponge applicator. And I'm just going to use the kind of applicator you get in um, a standard um, eyeshadow um, kit. So um, this has never been used or anything and I'm just going to use this. and. Let's see if we can get enough off of the lid insert to I'm just pulling off the just instead of doing it this way I'm going to just try to stick it like this um, and the only reason I'm trying it like this is because there are because I am pulling it off from the lid. Does not give you a yeah. There you go. That's a better picture of how covered it is with the glitter because this is a clear and a silver glitter.
that is that is a good stick i like that um i think i might have to try that in some of my crafting and arting and everything um overall these materials have been quite enjoyable and they will be very useful in my personal arting adventures so i hope you enjoy this and um i hope you would like i would like to uh uh, join me on my adventures in using these materials. So, um, this has been Brush Strokes and Butterflies, and um, just uh, testing some new stuff. So, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye bye.